Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. Kennedy said he would tear down Trump's wall, then people notice his house. For a party trying to float by on feminist hashtags and regain lost blue-collar voters, a Kennedy seemed an odd choice to give the rebuttal to the State of the Union. And that was before they put him in front of a wrecked car. Yet, even though the speech was a farrago of platitudes given by a wholly undeserving trust funder who appeared to be drooling and was attired like a freshman high school athlete dressing up for game day, this was a Kennedy, after all which meant the media had to find something to praise him for. And they did, in the line, build a wall and my generation will tear it down. Given that this was a Kennedy, you probably shouldn't be surprised to learn the line actually wasn't his. His mention of it came during a part of the speech where he addressed those in the loose coalition of anti-Trumpers who would probably use the hashtag hash the resistance without a hint of irony. And to all the dreamers watching tonight, let me be clear, Usted son party de nuestra historia. Vamos a lucre por Usted's wino nos vamos a ager. You are a part of our story. We will fight for you. We will not walk away, America, we carry that story on our shoulders, Kennedy said. You swarmed Washington last year to ensure no parent has to worry if they can afford to save their child's life. You proudly marched together last weekend, thousands deep in the streets of Las Vegas and Philadelphia and Nashville. You sat high atop your mom's shoulders and held a sign that read, Build a wall and my generation will tear it down. So, Joe Kennedy is essentially getting credit for a line written by someone else and taken off of a placard. If nothing else, this provides an ample glimpse into just how feverishly the media continues to perform CPR on the Kennedy legacy. However, there's another funny thing about the Kennedy legacy that's worth pointing out, as a family, they actually seem to love walls. Just not along our southern border. For instance, let's take a look at Rep. Kennedy's house. It's not exactly modest, and it's got a rather familiar circumambient feature. Oh look, a wall. And, as Julian Gillespie noted in a piece at the Daily Caller, the young congressman failed to mention that generations of Kennedys preceding him have enjoyed the protections and sanctity provided by walls and extra security at compounds stretching from Cape Cod to Palm Beach. When the Kennedy family sold the estate in Palm Beach, Florida in 1995, the walls and gate were the only part of the two-acre oceanfront compound to be legally protected, Gillespie wrote. The family had fought for years to keep the estate from historical designation to help resale value and make remodeling less complicated for a new owner. Now, of course, this is private property, but both walls serve roughly the same purpose, they are designed, in cases where there might be an incentive for ill-meaning actors to cross into territory they're legally prohibited from doing so, to stop them from doing so. In the case of illegal immigration, the costs and externalities are supposed to be borne by the American people because the demographic shifts are favorable to the Democrats. This is what they never mention. In any other circumstance, especially if the electoral benefits were neutral or unfavorable to the party, the wall would have been erected decades ago. But don't ask me. Ask Bill Clinton and Barack Obama. When slamming illegal immigration made electoral hay for the Democrats, they were more than willing to pay lip service to stopping it in their State of the Union addresses, as the Daily Wire points out. Walls and border enforcement, when it suits them, are perfectly dandy with the party of the left. It's just the ones that interfere with their demographical destiny that Joe Kennedy and his compatriots wish to tear down. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter if you think Joe Kennedy is a hypocrite. What are your thoughts on Kennedy's speech? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.